mysterious plant look, or looking organism growing in the forest. Looks like a mushroom. Looks like a plant. However, don't be fooled by its ghostly charm. The Indian pipe that can be found in Schneekley Reserve and other forests in on and out of Wisconsin may be a beauty to observe from afar, but don't be mesmerized by its beauty too much. Because of its parasitic plant has unique psychoactive properties that can harm humans more than help if you don't know what you're doing. My name is Megan Farringroup, and today I'll be talking to you all about the Indian pipe, or its scientific name, Monoth sorry, <laughs> Monotropa uniflora. The Indian pipe, it has no chlorophyll, which gives it its um, ghostly charm. That's why it has no color to it. And so it has to have its photosynthetic nature, and it uses its photosynthesis to use its food and nutrients from other organisms by having its roots tap into the mycelia of another fungus. This type of relationship is called mycorrhizal relationship, meaning the plant benefits more efficiently with its mineral, mainly phosphorus, uptake. While the fungus benefits that by the sugars it receives that are translocated by the roots by the parasitic plant. However, the host fungus's mycelia has to tap into nearby tree roots um, for more in nutrients that from the Indian, Indian pipe due to this. And the Indian pipe gives nothing back to the tree, which makes it a parasite to both the tree and the fungus. The unique uh, property properties of the Indian pipe go back beyond its lacking of chlorophyll that gives it its ghostly white color. When tinctured or as they grow old, they can turn black in color in wither, which makes it look eerie beyond its ghostly color and color. However, don't be don't be uh, fooled by the parasitic ways and ghostly nature. These unique plants do have some benefits. However, only in powders and juices. Do not eat them whole or raw, as they are severely toxic to humans. Indian pipe root can be used as a tonic or a sedative, and the powder can be used to be treated as uh, restlessness, pains, and even as a substitute for opium. For children, this plant can be used to help epilepsy and chorea, which has been helped to give its other common name, the convulsion root. <coughs> Another common use of the Indian pipe is to treat acute anxiety or psychotic episodes due to its in intense drug experiences. However, only when prepared in small doses to the which the patient falls asleep to awake calm and clear hours later. So remember, when you're out on your hikes and changing, if you ever want to see this mysterious looking plant, Observe and enjoy the Indian pipe for its ghostly beauty. And you can see it turn its either white, purple, or black nature. However, with the due to its deadly properties for us humans, remember not to pick it, but enjoy it for its scenic beauty or its photographic purposes. If you do try to handle it, watch out as the plant will seem to melt away in your hands like ice. They are hard to find due to its lack of chlorophyll as they can even grow in the dark, but don't fret. Look for them in dark, shady areas of forests, in moist soil near decaying leaves. You'll find them flowering also and appearing in the summer from June until September. So when you do your hikes, remember, look for a start to get warm.